September 15, 2017. The Cassini spacecraft, after two decades of loyal service, made its final dive into Saturn's atmosphere. It was widely regarded as a poetic end to one of humanity's most legendary space missions. Scientists believed the mission had shown us everything, Saturn's iconic swirling hexagon at the North Pole, the icy geysers erupting from Enceladus, and the mysterious methane lakes of Titan. The images were catalogued. The data declared complete. The chapter closed. But Cassini didn't just fall, it spoke one last time. Its final transmission, long dismissed as standard atmospheric visuals, held a secret no one saw coming. It wasn't until years later, when a quantum artificial intelligence scanned those closing images, that something astonishing surfaced. Hidden in the final frames was not noise, not shadows, not glitches, but a structured, intelligent pattern. A message. Not in sound or light, but in geometry. In mathematics. In silence. The message seemed to whisper, you weren't just watching Saturn. We were watching you. Cassini's mission was nothing short of historic. It gave us the clearest, most detailed views of Saturn and its many moons. Thousands of images were taken and placed into digital archives, largely untouched for years. Among these were a small cluster of photos captured mere minutes before Cassini disintegrated. Beautiful, artistic frames, but dismissed as ordinary. Until 2025. That year, a private lab employed a quantum neural network, a form of AI far beyond anything previously used, to reprocess Cassini's final visuals. Originally designed to clean up fuzzy interstellar telescope data, this AI began to pick up faint, repeating geometrical distortions within the images. These weren't atmospheric anomalies or data compression artifacts. They were symmetrical. Intentional. Identical across multiple angles, time stamps, and image layers. And something had placed them there. As the AI enhanced these images, the patterns became undeniable. Fibonacci spirals, prime number sequences, and golden ratios, mathematical structures common to both nature and human logic. The patterns were subtle, woven like invisible signatures into the visual noise of Saturn's atmosphere. At first, researchers believed the AI might be generating hallucinations, false positives born from overprocessing. But the patterns continued. They weren't static either. They aligned with Saturn's magnetic anomalies, areas previously thought to be sensor glitches. They repeated across datasets, forming alignment grids and encoded structures. This wasn't an error. It was a signal, one designed not to be seen immediately, but to wait. To be uncovered only when our tools, and perhaps our minds, were ready. More disturbing still, the signal wasn't just abstract. The AI uncovered pixel arrangements that formed mathematical sequences using constants familiar to humans, pi, Euler's number, even primes. The logic mirrored the golden record placed aboard Voyager, universal math, used as a language of intelligence. But this time, the message wasn't outbound. It was inbound. Something had responded, and we almost missed it. Then came the most chilling revelation. Cassini had been programmed to take a rapid burst of 12 images just before it lost contact forever. But only 11 images were ever decoded. The 12th, while technically transmitted, remains unreadable to this day. Not corrupted. Not damaged. Intact. But locked. A binary puzzle no Earth-based tool, not even the quantum AI, has been able to decrypt. It's as if that final image is protected, sealed off by an encryption not made by human hands. A final lock. A safeguard. Some now believe this, missing, twelfth frame contains the clearest, most direct element of the message. Perhaps a symbol. A representation. Something unambiguous. But someone, or something, has ensured we cannot yet access it. As researchers dug deeper into Cassini's imagery, they noticed something even stranger. The same ratios found in the signal appeared to echo through the geographical features of Saturn's moons, Enceladus, Titan, and Dione. 
These were the same moons Cassini had explored in incredible detail. The patterns mirrored spiral petroglyphs, pyramid alignments, and ancient ratios found in long-lost Earth structures. Coincidence? Or was Saturn's system being used as a kind of mirror, reflecting back something deeply familiar? Whispers among scientists began calling it the Saturn Code, a mathematical lattice embedded across space and time. At its center sat the final transmission, veiled in riddles and fire. While much of the data was released publicly, leaked documents from inside space agencies suggested otherwise. Whistleblowers shared classified communications and internal lab footage, revealing that certain image frames had been deliberately withheld, frames where the geometry took on recognizable forms, including language and symbols. One frame showed a triangle with perfectly symmetrical edges hovering above Saturn's southern hemisphere. Another showed rhythmic pulses matching the tempo of Morse code. Some of the scientists working with this data were reportedly reassigned. Others were silenced under non-disclosure agreements. It was no longer just science, it was secrecy. A struggle over who controls the timing and the truth. A rift has now formed in the scientific community. On one side are the skeptics, those who insist the AI simply amplified natural phenomena and that humans are prone to pareidolia, seeing patterns in randomness. But others, data analysts, cryptographers, and theoretical physicists, point to the statistical improbability of such precision. These signals didn't just repeat. They evolved. They adapted. And at the heart of it all, the I, as many now call it, that unreadable twelfth frame. Some believe it's a failsafe, a final gatekeeper designed to activate only when a specific threshold is reached. But who, or what, set that threshold? With NASA maintaining silence, a wave of independent researchers has surged into action. Online forums, Git repositories, and underground labs have sprung up worldwide, all working to decrypt the lost frame. Some claim to have glimpsed strange, alien architecture within it. Others believe the image isn't meant to be seen until a specific celestial alignment occurs, or a human discovery changes everything. A rogue theorist even proposed that the unlock isn't digital at all. It's an event, a global moment. A shift in our civilization's understanding. And only then will the message truly be revealed. Until that day, the world waits. Cassini wasn't just a spacecraft. It was a witness. A silent observer with no weapons, no flags, just open eyes and the hopes of a civilization behind it. We believed we were the only ones watching. But now, the evidence suggests we were wrong. Those final patterns. The encrypted twelfth image. They weren't malfunctions. They were markers. Breadcrumbs left by something far older. Far smarter. And infinitely more patient. Now, years after Cassini disintegrated in Saturn's atmosphere, its last transmission is finally being understood. Not by humans alone, but by the machines we built to think beyond us. And what they're finding is shaking the very foundation of everything we thought we knew. Maybe we were never the explorers. Maybe we were the observed. The studied. The predicted. One final image, locked like a cosmic time capsule, not meant for the moment it was captured, but for the moment humanity is ready to understand. If you've made it this far, you're not just a viewer. You're part of the awakening. Share this video before the twelfth frame is finally cracked. Subscribe, because this is only the beginning. And let us know in the comments, what do you think Cassini was meant to show us? And more importantly, who left the message?